Namaste, nerds. Well, some of you probably aren't nerds. Some of you took this class because your parents made you, or maybe you need it to graduate. But in any case, this is a judgment-free zone. So whether you're a member of the nerd community or not, feel free to join us for this history meditation. Ah, oh, with Tom. Get comfortable. Sit down. Lie down. If you're in a space where you're allowed, perhaps you would prefer to stand up or to walk. I would not recommend driving. This can get pretty relaxing. Oh. And now that you've found a comfortable place, I want you to be aware of your breathing. A deep breath in. A deep breath out. Inhale. War. Exhale. Inhale, the French Revolution, Napoleon, exhale, the conservative order of the age of Metternich, come with me back to 1815, actually 1814 technically, but Who's counting? Napoleon was defeated twice, so we're just going to go with 1815 because it's easier to remember. And let's go to the continent of Europe. On our way there, as we fly over the Atlantic, we will pass by the remote island of St. Helena. Goodbye, Napoleon. We wish him well. And we will now fly over the fields of France. Feel compassion for the millions of people whose lives were lost or ruined by the wars of the French Revolution. Have compassion for everyone who is affected by these tragedies. As we continue our flight across Europe, as a leaf in a breeze, as we go over the Holy Roman Empire, say goodbye to this institution that was so recently dissolved. And although you were neither holy nor Roman, nor an empire, you will still be missed. Just kidding. There's probably no one who will miss you. But we still say goodbye as we continue descending into the alpine splendor of Austria. Imagine the mountains. Do I hear the sound of music? And we descend to the beautiful city of Vienna, where Prince Clemens von Metternich has convened the members of the Quadruple Alliance. Britain, Austria, Prussia, Russia, as if he has convened an orchestra in concert. Let's call it the Concert of Europe. And we are here to discuss peace, to inhale the Napoleonic Wars, to exhale conservative order. And while we're here, let's make room for France. Come, France. Come and join us, you who have been beaten, because we don't seek to punish you. We seek peace, 
imagine the restoration of France's 1791 border. A beautiful, strong border, just as it was before the chaos of the wars of the French Revolution. Welcome back, France. You were restored as you were with a bourbon monarch. And although in the spirit of the times, we may have to grant you a constitution, at least it's a monarchy. And as we are aware of our breathing, let us consider the concept of order and peace, a conservative order with Europe acting in concert. Imagine as you breathe in stability within states, no revolutions. As you exhale, imagine stability between states. No wars. And imagine this period of peace spanning 33 years from 1815 to 1848. Feel the tremor of the Greek War for Independence. But feel that tremor stop well before the walls of Constantinople. Feel the conservative order restored. Feel the French Revolution of 1830, where one monarchy was exchanged for another. And oh, there's Les Mis. Yes, it's that 1830 revolution that no one really talks or cares about because compared to the previous one it really wasn't that big of a deal just a trimmer mostly harmless to this beautiful conservative order take a moment to smile upon the friendship of Austria, Prussia, and Russia bound together in a holy alliance to promote a spirit of Christianity and to work together to brutally crush any kind of upheaval or attempted revolution. What's that? Do I hear the sound of Burschenschaften? Not anymore. Metternich took care of that. As you're aware of your breathing, feel the peace of Europe, the unprecedented peace of the concert system. An informal system, but effective nonetheless. 1815 to 1848, the age of Metternich. Take a moment to feel gratitude for Clemens von Metternich for bringing about this period of stability and peace. And I will take a moment to be thankful for all of my friends at Stanton College Prep in Jacksonville, Florida. Thank you for supporting my work and for joining me in this beautiful and peaceful meditation. Namaste, nerds. It's always a pleasure. Peace.